Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 4. So we should all know by now roughly that The Flash is back on April the 10th with Episode 17, so that's still a couple of weeks away. Uh, but with Episode 17, we actually got the trailer for that at the conclusion of last episode, which was, you know, a couple of weeks ago, which I will play again right now just in case anyone missed it or hasn't seen it yet. So here it is. I know this is serious. You got an odd way of showing it. Just that any time that I'm afraid, I make jokes. I always knew you were lightweight, Ralph. She's filled you with helium. Maybe you should try to burp yourself down like Charlie Bucket. I swear, Ralph. All right, where is she? Look and fly, Flash! Ah! Ralph, I know what I'm doing. He's gonna fall to his death. The Flash. All new episodes return Tuesday, April 10th on The CW. But over the past few days, we also got the synopsis or description for this episode, which is actually directed by Kevin Smith, who has directed two episodes of The Flash in the past, one of which was in season four towards the end of that season, and the other was in last season, season three, in like the first half of that season. But before we go over the synopsis or description and dive deeper into it, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we go over in this video. What are you thinking? Do you agree with what I've said in this video? All of that. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Barry and Ralph take different approaches to finding the remaining bus meters before DeVoe gets to them. However, Ralph's cavalier attitude frustrates Barry and the two clash over what it means to be a hero. Meanwhile, Breacher returns to our Cisco for a favor. So the first part of the synopsis to go over is, Barry and Ralph take different approaches to finding the remaining bus meters before, sorry, DeVoe gets to them. Now we knew going into this episode that the bus meter in question for this episode is actually Null, who in the comics is a male, but in this episode they've gender flipped it, which we've seen with previous characters on the show as well, like Top and even Fiddler from a couple of episodes ago. Now Null is an accomplished jewel thief before the bus meter incident, so... You know, she was really good at doing it before, and now she has all these abilities, so she is extra good. So my prediction is that there will be differences between the two in regards to luring Null in and convincing her that she is in danger. You know, similar to Fiddler, like she was like, oh, there's nothing wrong. What are you doing? You're crazy. And then she was like, oh, wait, I am in danger. So I'm expecting Null to go through the same process, like denying it, saying you're crazy. You just want to take me in and stuff because I've been doing stuff wrong. And then she'll be like, oh, no, this uh, crazy dude or it's actually a female now in the form of Izzy or the Fiddler is after me and maybe I am in danger and should just team up with the Flash. We do see Ralph along with Barry, Joe, and I think that's the old friend of Ralph's that we saw in a previous episode. I don't know if it is, but anyway, we see them all in a museum or gallery of sorts with Null climbing the walls above them thanks to her abilities or powers, which if you aren't sure what her powers are, it's like centralized gravity change for a specific person or just an area. So she can use them on herself and be like Spider-Man essentially. So this could be them trying to lure her in with a fancy piece of jewelry or something like that or just something expensive. But as we can tell from other parts of the trailer, it doesn't look like it went all that well for specifically Barry as he now is affected by her powers and is floating. The next part of the synopsis is, however, Ralph's cavalier attitude frustrates Barry and the two clash over what it means to be a hero. So what we are going to be getting in this episode is essentially someone who is in direct danger of the threat, and that is Ralph, and someone who isn't but wants to stop the threat, and that is Barry. So we have someone fighting for their life versus someone essentially fighting for justice in the form of Barry. So Ralph will be going to desperate measures to assure his safety. What are these desperate measures? Obviously, we're going to have to wait and find out. It just could be like doing something crazy to try and solve the bus meta thing, that, but po possibly like putting other people in danger. So we did go over early in this season through the actual you know show, what they did in the show, you know, Ralph trying to stop the villain directly rather than, you know, taking in the environment and looking what was most important. Was it saving civilians or catching the villain? So Ralph is still, you know, going through that learning phase. And, you know, with him, you know, being scared about his safety, he might forget all of that. You know, Barry sort of has to step up and, you know, stop Ralph from, you know, possibly killing people accidentally. So after this synopsis came out, people were like, oh, Arrow did a Civil War a couple of episodes. Now, it's like, the Flash is doing one. We're having, like, a Team Flash, like, mini Civil War. And I was like, not really, because it's just between Barry and Ralph and, like, a disagreement over certain things and how to handle things. I don't think it's that much of a Civil War. So maybe don't take it that far. And the final part of the synopsis is... Meanwhile, Breacher returns to ask Cisco for a favor. So we knew a while back when this episode was being filmed that Danny Trejo would be returning to the role of Breacher for this episode as the director for the episode, Kevin Smith, posted a picture of himself with Breacher and Vibe on Instagram. Now, Null isn't the only comic book villain that will be showing up in this episode to possibly cause some mayhem for our friends on Team Flash. The character of Crucifer is also set to show up in this episode and will be 
by the looks of it, the reason that Breacher needs a favor from Cisco. In the comics, Christopher is a part of a cult of vampires. And they would like lure in like young potential members or these people would think they're going to be joining a cult. But you know, they were just really there for the vampires to feast on them. There was even a story in the comics where this cult of vampires came back into our dimension after being banished from it, I guess you could say. And from memory, they disguise themselves as like various heroes in the DC universe. Yeah, it's, I think that was back when DC was like experimenting with certain things. In this episode though, I feel Christopher will just be a person that has a bouncy on his head and with Breacher being a bouncy hunter, well, Christopher is going to get hunted, but it looks like it might be a bit bigger of a task than first thought by Breacher, or maybe he goes after him and it just rebounds and like, you know, then Breacher is turned into the hunted. So Cisco might be brought in to help that, you know, what's going on there. In regards to whether Christopher will actually be a vampire on the show, it's a possibility they could just make him a vampire from like another dimension or another earth, or they could just make him a cannibal, something similar to that. It might be a bit too far to introduce vampires, but then again, we have a talking gorilla or like a mind, uh, mind reading gorilla. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think is too far. I think vampires are definitely on the boundary, but I think they might pass if we see them on the show. Now, Coffee Shop Girl, or, you know, Dawn Allen, or Mystery Girl, or Jitters Girl, whatever you want to call her, is rumored to show up at the end of this episode. Nothing concrete, though. There's just some rumors that it might have happened. I don't know if Kevin Smith said anything about it, but there's just a rumor that she might show up. Um, I wouldn't go into this episode expecting her to show up, but don't be surprised if she does show up, because I really need to push her story forward if there is a story connected to her and, like, what role she plays this season. They really need to, you know, just heighten that so he... You know, I'm just watching these different end credit scenes and nothing adds up. Hopefully they, you know, progress that in the next couple of episodes. Now, the last thing to talk about that's going to be in this episode is, well, it's a cameo uh, from Kevin Smith, a director, and also Jason Mewes. They will be playing security cards in this episode, or security guards, might I say. For those that don't know who Jason Mewes is, uh, Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes are Kev uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Okay, I was going to say Kevin and Silent Bob. They are Jay and Silent Bob, so Kevin Smith is Silent Bob. And Jason Mewes is Jay. So we're going to have those two in this episode playing security guards. I'm guessing they're going to have a couple of lines each. That's going to be awesome to see that. It's going to be random. Um, but I'm looking forward to that as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions. What are you looking forward to most in this episode? What are your different opinions on what I went over in this video? Just let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.